Hey, what's up, Creek? I'm Kayla. And I'm Eileen, your host for the very last K-Fan of this year. Let's get right into the news. Seniors, listen up. This Thursday is Seniors Awards Night at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Show up to collect those awards. This year, Student Council worked very hard to be recognized as an outstanding Student Council and a sweepstakes winner. This means that our Student Council earned the highest distinction in the area of energy and environment, community service, pride and patriotism, and DASH for the third year in a row. Student Council also makes history this year because it is the first year that Caney Creek has been on the officer board in our district. The student that is representing Caney Creek High School is Evan Underwood. He will continue to meet in the district meetings in the summer to go over future service events. So if you see Evan or Student Council in the hallway, make sure to congratulate them on their amazing work. Finals are approaching quickly. This is the time of the year to finish strong and turn in all of your grades. We know that this year has been a long year, but we are in the home stretch. Make sure to get those grades turned into your teachers ASAP. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Prom is this Saturday. Get your tickets now while they're still on sale. Tickets are available at Ms. Cross office. They are $50 and they will not be for sale at the door of the prom. So grab a date and your friends and get your tickets now. Okay, okay. Jalissa, do you... No, 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 no. Jalissa, do you want to go to prom with me? I know you do. What's up, girl? No, that's not me, that's not me. Julissa, will you go to prom with me? Okay, okay, yeah, 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 I got this, I got this, I got this. Oh, oh man, okay. Julissa, will you go to prom with me? <gasps> You're asking me to prom? Of course. No, 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 I thought you were, I thought you were Julissa. I of course I'll go to prom with you. This is gonna be awesome. about like what you wear to prom. So uh, I wore a fancy dress for mine and then I wore my cowboy. Please, please, Whoa, please, 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 please. Mm. What does it say? Please. Prom would be unbearable without you. Mm. I know it's cheesy, but prom? So are y'all like asking me? No. No, we're asking each other. You want oh, that's kind of Heck yeah, bro. It's all right, we'll go together. Let's take we'll go together. Go. We got it. Nice. <laughs> So prom's coming up, so what are you trying to go for? Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors? Probably a senior, like me. So do you have someone in mind? No. Well, I got homies approaching us right now that you don't know. Oh my god. Prom would be unbearable without you. So you Her wanna forehead go to is going to be so shiny under prom light. You should totally go with me. It's going to be so lame with her, I promise. That's kind of rude. Do, do you like big foreheads? I, I mean, I, yeah, I think big foreheads like are, shine are hers, attractive. Like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like yours are shinier than, than hers, to be honest. Change your mind? I'll still say no. Why? It's lame. Well, I have some bad news. Hey, I have a question for you. Um, I know it's cheesy, but prom? No. Okay, I got another sign for you. <laughs> Prom would be unbearable without you. I uh, know. This one isn't a question. You know how it doesn't have a question mark? I'm not asking you anymore. I'm saying we're going to prom. Oh, okay. Laura, are you going to prom? Well, I'm not sure because I don't have a date. Oh. I'm asking her oh, to prom. Sorry. Go away, I'm asking her to prom. Okay. Uh. Do you, do you, uh, do you want to go to prom with me? No. Will you go to prom with me? Paper, rock, scissors. No. Just read it. Okay? Just read it. Um, I know it's cheesy, but prom? And, oh, here you go. Prom would be unbearable without you? Yes. Without me or without Laura? Laura. Yeah, goodbye. Get out of here. No one likes you. I'm sorry. So, will you, so is it no? Yes, I'll go with you. Okay, so what now? I mean, they might, but I'm a good kid, so it doesn't even matter. Since when? 
since like ever. Maybe it's your turn. <coughs> <coughs> um, oh, do you wanna, yeah. wanna get a problem with this? You wanna get a problem? Both of you? Yes. I mean, yeah. Dude, you know, it doesn't even matter. Why are we asking? This, what? Dude, <laughs> you're coming to prom, bro. <laughs> you're coming to prom. This is our prom, man. <laughs> so, I heard like prom is coming up. Are you planning on going or anything? You know, I think I got someone in mind, but you know, I'm not too sure. Kinda, is it? Kind of nervous, you know, but like, I don't know. I feel like I have someone coming for me. Oh, wait, wait, please. Please, please, please choose me. me, like me. Choose me, though. Oh, Dude, I was talking to him first. Whoa, I was talking to him first. Oh. <laughs> I guess I'll take you. <laughs> have a date? No, I'll be lonely. No boys there. have asked me. No. Either girls? Mm -mm. Really? Nobody. Will you go home with me? I know it's cheesy, but... Um, I heard I you didn't know. have a date, and I kind of been uh, seeing I mean, you around school a little hey, bit. no, it's just wait, my wait. day. No, no, no. No, no, no. Stop, you know, stop. Fight for stop. Me. I go with both of y'all. Wait, both of y'all. Well, I mean, who? three of y'all. I'll three of y'all. I'll three of y'all. Really? I mean, I mean, we can make it work. Okay, yeah, yes, then we can all go. All right. I mean, I'll, I'll take this, and I'll take this. Okay. I was... Oh. My guy. And then you'll take me. Yes. Come on, let's go. Brother? Yeah, maybe it's your twin brother. Um, I got a question. Would you, you want to go to prom, with, go to prom with, with me? Wait, both of y'all go with me? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, say less. So today I have this new thing for women only today, and I will be choosing a thing. So, Victor, what does that feel like? Um, it feels good. Call me. And I'll have these two people things next to me today. So, Andrew, how do you treat yourself, Homer? Um, I treat it pretty nice, like a human being. How do you treat yourself, Homer? Uh, like absolute trash. If it's not a person, it's. Look, I made my decision. Alright, so today I have this one verbal couple with me today, and I'm going to be asking them questions. So, man, what is that for? Talk to. Okay, cool. Sir, what is that for? I don't know, I've never felt love. Hmm. That's I don't know, I've never experienced love. I have made my decision. So today I have these two ugly, horrifying, fat, stinky people today, and they're going to be asking questions to me. So, Vic, what is that present? Um, I don't know. You never experienced that? Like, never? Are you mom? I don't know. Alright. Alright, so Vicky, what is that present? A programming pep. That by your own emotions. That's very good. I My family memory from this year is being with my friends and the table and lunch. You know, we we be barking, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Like barking, I'm, I wanna do it right now, but they're testing. But let me give you a little sneak peek. <laughs> Uh, definitely when we were in the locker room before a football game and uh, we got in the laundry bins and then we charged at each other with uh, hitting dummies. It was pretty fun. Uh, my favorite memory is probably just going out and doing all the k pen stuff with the crew. Favorite memory would be going to all the pep rallies and just having really fun and having the time of my life. I would say really any uh, memories I had with band because I started band my freshman year and throughout that whole journey, I built my confidence through band, I made new friends, I made 
so many tons of memories, like during football games, on the bus rides, going to games, or going to competitions. Purely just band in general has been such a big part of my high school uh, career. Uh, to pass your classes because it's basically your first like actual like you get your GPA out of it so when well, actually I don't think so but you gotta really try work hard and then hopefully pass your classes and just keep going. Tips for freshmen is to start taking your protein now and stock up on pre-workout while it's cheap. More again. One tip I gotta give to the freshmen hey live it up while it lasts because next thing I know it's gonna be gone and do good with your classes freshman year, or you're going to be like me with a 2.7 GPA. There you go. That's it with Tyler. Don't take AP classes. Take dual credit instead, and enjoy your enjoy your uh, enjoy your high school life. Don't just don't be boring. Um, honestly, just do your work. Get good grades. Um, the biggest tip I would give to freshmen is definitely, you know, give it your all, you know, because it starts now. And you might, it might not seem like, oh, this is, doesn't matter, I'm a freshman, whatever, but it matters. Your GPA matters, all that stuff matters. Shame. Just do what the right thing is supposed to do, do your schoolwork, and then you can graduate faster. Don't do anything dumb. Like, seriously, don't do that. It's a waste of time. My uh, people I'm going to miss is Mr. Rust, my freshman English teacher, and my office aide this year, Miss Mullen. She's she's pretty cool. Um, probably just the juniors, because well, they've been here since I was, you know, and I got to watch them grow up, so that's fun. Um. A final goodbye, I would say, would be to one of my favorite teachers. Uh, his name is Mrs. Tanner. Um, he's the president of SWAG, and it's just always been just the highlight of my day and every single day. And I appreciate everything he does for me. And also, someone else I would like to say goodbye to is uh, uh, my favorite junior, Aristotle Roster. She's just the absolute, the sweetest little girl you ever meet, and I just love her to death. Uh, people who I'd like to say goodbye to are like friends that I've made throughout the years and like my art teacher, Ms. Alvarado, and especially my dear friend Crystal who passed away my freshman year. I wish she would have, you know, gone through this journey of, of high school with me, seen all the things we accomplished, seen my confidence grow, but sadly she had to leave us too early, so I'm just going to say goodbye to her memory instead. My final goodbyes. Uh... I guess all the teachers that I had over the years, uh, I won't say bye to them because I may never get to see them again, you know? Because who knows that what the future holds for you. My plans for the future? Probably living under a bridge with my high school diploma. What is one thing you tell a freshman? Uh, put deodorant on. Y'all freshmen be stinking, bro. Like for real. <laughs> Any final goodbyes to anyone at the school? Nobody, because they're all losers. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm just kidding. Yeah, so it's kind of sad going in to the end of the high school, you know, but a couple people I'm going to miss. It's going to be, you know, really sad, but it's going to be none of the teachers because I'm going to be out of this school doing my own life, making money. You already know what I mean? Everybody, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Dude, it's your birthday. Anything you want to say? Thank you, everybody. I put it to I can't say the, I can't say the word, but go ahead. Hey, put it to me. <laughs> Um, what is your favorite memory from this year? None of them. <laughs> um, do you want to say goodbye to anyone that you're not going to see again? Absolutely not. Especially not Miss Conroy. Uh, what is one thing you would tell the freshman? Good luck. Any plans at the high school? Other than being homeless? Nope.
<laughs> I'm in serious debt to school. Please help me. <laughs> Any final goodbyes to anyone? Um, do I miss Conroy? This year has been a long one, so we want to take a look at some of the most memorable moments from KPAN. Big Sosa, come here, come here. So today, we, uh, we uh, got a special offer for you, bro. So do you have any life advice for us? Not really. All right, what are you going to say about, what about your life, bro? Spit a beat for us. Tori on the beat. Mm. Yeah. So the other day, I really went to school. Yeah. And I really saw my teacher, yeah. She was really cool. Mm. Yeah. And then I drank some water. It was wet, like a pool. Mm. And I really pulled my pencil out. That's my tool. Mm. And then... And then I passed the class. <laughs> and then I got home and cut the grass. See how I have the Valkyrie and the Mini Pekka? You place them both like that. See, for a good efficient push. I got mine open too, though. Never mind, you play the Prince. Don't play this game anymore. Followed by the rules of Monkey Man. Just live your life happy. Bro. I'll be right back. 39 buried, zero found. I mean, say less. restroom break because I really got to take care of my business now. Cut. <laughs> w Frank! W Frank! Yo, you want to see a Frank look? Happy Nick Day! Happy Nick Day! Happy Nick Day! <laughs> Be sure to like and subscribe for your next video!
Thank you, Canyon Creek, for all the love and support. Your support means everything to us. Thank you for tuning in every episode. That's, That's it for this year, Creek. Bye. Bye.